What's up, everybody? Welcome back to Sporgo and the Nano Robus event is here, and there's really not a lot to really talk about. It's pretty much going to be the same kind of thing that we've done with the past events. It's pretty straightforward. I do want to say thank you to Kuro Games, though, for giving us these black cards for the questionnaire and also for the maintenance period. That was really, really nice, man. 650 black cards. Really nice to see that. Also, in the Nano Robus event, make sure that you do do all these. These tickets here are going to what we're going to be using to get like solid six star memories just like in the abyss mode just like what it was in the fallen star event pretty straightforward honestly all this is really straightforward we got a new story mode which is awesome we can get some black cards we also have a new interlude for chrome here where we're also going to be able to get even more black cards which is awesome so make sure that you do do this this will always be here the interlude is never going to go anywhere this is an a rank interlude it's always going to be here and the same with the story mode so there's really no need to be in a hurry to try to get through it but there are a bunch of available black cards in there so i would always advise doing it and as far as the non robust event i mean just like i said earlier it's pretty damn straightforward right you got the main story right here you got the new interlude right here you got the virtual mart right here where we can farm all these materials i mean you got your experience balls your skill points all these things so farm whatever you need to level up what characters you need to level up but when you start scrolling over we're going to be able to get chrome starting tomorrow we'll start being able to save a bunch of these tokens so that way we can get 30 stars for this character and get him and he will arrive in the banner tomorrow not today but he's going to arrive actually tomorrow and after 10 pulls you'll be able to get this character absolutely guaranteed and whenever you do go for chrome i mean if you're just going to use him as a support all you need to do is get him up to s rank anything past that's really he'd be used more as a damage dealer if you're going to try to get him up to double s or triple s then you're going to want to use him as a damage dealer but if you're just going to use him as a main support you just want that lightning resistance down you just want to use him for this qte then getting up to s rank is going to be more than enough and i really don't even know if he's going to be better than using karenina in warzone i have no idea i think for pancake he's going to be better if you're using bianca but for warzone i'm not really sure but some things that really happened that was really awesome in this event like these memories so you'll be able to farm heisen memories you're gonna be able to farm eisena so if you are building him for sub dps just get four heisen memories whether it's slot one two three and four or slot three four five and six and then make sure that you get eight more memories so you can fully resonate them and then you're going to want two eisena memories and make sure that you have six of those in total you know maybe you'll have a slot one and two eisena memory and then you just have four more eisena memories so that way you can fully resonate them if you're building him for a support then more than likely you already have a da vinci set that you can already use on him you don't really need to resonate a da vinci set for the character if you're going to use him for that purpose however you can still do that but that is something to keep in mind but the thing that's really nice about this event is also that you can farm for patent memories and hannah's which is awesome so certain characters like a kamoi like a kamoi a karenina uh, S. Kamoy, all three of those characters, you know, the main DPS sets for those characters are going to be a four piece Hannah set. So, this is the time to farm for these memories and actually start doing full resonating for certain characters if they're using those Hannah memory sets, which is fantastic. That's something that I'm going to be focusing on for my S. Kamoy and probably maybe even my A. Kamoy. And the patent memories you can actually use for your DPS set that we got a long time ago from the Frozen Star event. For Alpha, a lot of people use the patent memory set for her in Warzone. And if you don't have the resonating, the resonations that you want or the resonated stats that you want, you can actually farm for these memories and actually start re-resonating those memories, which is pretty damn awesome. And you're just going to come in here and you're going to play this every single day, right? You'll play the multi-challenge. You'll go through this. Maybe you'll get these tickets here. And just like in the Fallen Star event, you can play in the Abyss mode here where you get a guaranteed six-star memory once you have four of these three sources. It's pretty straightforward. I mean, honestly, when it comes to these events, uh, they're, they're pretty damn easy, really. And the further up the level you go, the more that you level this up, the more black cards that you're going to be able to achieve over time. And that's pretty much about it, honestly. When it comes to the non robust event, there really isn't a lot to talk about, not a really a lot to go over. But I think it's a great event to take full advantage of having those Hannah and Patton memories. So you can either re-resonate memories or do some resonating on certain characters like A. Kamoy, like A. Karenina, like S. Kamoy. I mean, again, all three of those characters, the main DPS sets for those characters are going to be a four-piece Hannah with either two Isna, like in S. Kamoy's case, or two Catherine's, like in A. Karenina's case or A. Kamoy's case. So this is the time to take full advantage of those memories. That's exactly what I'm going to be doing. I'm going to be re-resonating memories for Alpha. I'm going to be resonating memories, again, for the characters that I just mentioned 
previously. And we'll talk about these other events uh, whenever they open up, you know, the Abode of Gods, Rosetta, and then Sunlight Seas, Path of Stars. We'll talk about these when they open up. Uh, the Abode of God is going to open up till the 7th. And then Arctic Duel here is going to open up on the 29th. And then Mission Time here is going to open up on the 22nd. So we got, a, you know, a little bit of time before any of these things open up. So we're not really too concerned about them right now. So let me know how y'all feeling about Nano Robus. Man, let me know, you know, what you're actually farming for, what memories you're going to be trying to get in, and are you going to be working on resonating for any certain characters in the game. And I do stream on Twitch at 9 p.m. GMT plus 7 time. The link is in the description below. And I hope you enjoyed the video. Thank you for watching, y'all. Take care and have a good one. See ya.